Now let's take a look at TrackMan's driver fitting application. To get started, select fitting from the main screen, then driver fitting, select a player name, select the target line, I want to use this blue flag at the back of the range, And TrackMan's driver fitting application is based on the way a player swings a club, what are the ideal launch parameters. What we always want to do is have the player start with their own club. In this case, we'll call it driver. As well, we want to make sure we select the ball type. And Bjorn, whenever you're ready, please hit the first. Okay, two more just like that. Good shot. Okay, now that we've got three shots with that club, what I'd like you to do is try the other club. Okay, two more just like that. Nice shot. Come over and take a look at the data. TrackMan's driver fitting application works on the premise that you need to hit three shots that we fully measure. And what we're going to do is give some optimal recommendations based on the way you deliver the club. So in this case, you see the optimals down here based on your average ball speed and your average launch, your average spin. But again, it's based on the way you deliver the club. So if we scan forward quickly, we can see that your average club speed, 102.5 miles an hour, with a plus minus of 0.5 miles an hour, and an average attack angle of 3.4 degrees. Those two parameters right there give us what really becomes the optimal launch parameters. Now if you go to this screen, you'll see the average ball speed, 148.4, and we're recommending 149.5. Now you can see your average carry distance was 236.1 yards and if you could optimize those launch parameters you should be able to carry it 245.4. Same thing after bounce and roll or your total 251.4 is where you are today. How about 15 more yards by optimizing? Now the nice thing is we did have another club that I thought would fit you a little bit better and let's go ahead and take a look at how that performed. Now we can take a look at driver A versus driver B. And the biggest culprit causing your trajectory to really balloon up into the sky and also land too steeply was a very high spin rate. Driver B, were able to bring your spin rate down quite a bit, much closer to the recommended or optimal launch spin. Now what this helped us do is get right at TrackMan's optimal numbers. So you can see if we could get the spin rate all the way down to 2600, you're going to be able to carry the ball nearly 270 yards with a nice landing angle of 33.8. Right now you're a little bit higher, but that's what we'll be able to work on. Now let me go ahead and show you some graphical representations of this data. We'll use our trajectory screen, and I'm going to average the data so it's not so confusing. And right here you see that this green line is the optimal recommended TrackMan launch parameters and trajectory. And Club A, with too much spin, you could see started falling too steeply because it had too much spin primarily. And Club B, the blue line, has the similar launch, but because it has a lot less spin, had a much flatter trajectory and landed right at the optimal. Now, I think that Club B is the recommended club for you, 
and we could really go a little bit further to optimize. But today, let's go ahead and make a report and definitely take a look at moving to Club B. Now what's great about the TrackMan report is that I can pull all these separate elements in and then give the customer a deliverable, either email or a printed hard copy. And right up in here, based on the way you delivered your own club, this gave us the minimum to maximum ball speed range, spin rate range, and launch angle, as well as what all the optimals should have been. Again, driver B compared very favorable to your optimals, and you can see that clearly in the trajectory screen and also on the dispersion screen. And that's it for our overview of TrackMan's driver fitting application.